insane. One hundred and ten thousand dollars gone, dude. I, That's well, nuts, man. I, 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 <laughs> I agree. Everyone, he's a great storyteller. Just most of them we can't tell you guys. I'm in Argentina for 24 hours. You yeah, could keep it forever. You total it out, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's one way or the other. I, I should break that. Start selling. Some <laughs> yeah. shit. You don't gotta be lame. You just choose to be. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And that is actually why I love ZocDoc. It's all online and it's easy to find the right doctor in your insurance network for your specific issue. Go to ZocDoc.com slash wide open and download the ZocDoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash wide open. ZocDoc dot com slash wide open. Dude, it's uh, it's been kind of interesting lately as I've been traveling out and about. You know, I mean, the restaurants around here are getting busier. You know, it's busy seasons picking back up. But uh, I think with all the the local news coverage, I feel like more people are recognizing us. Have you guys felt that way when you're out? Yeah, I got recognized uh, every spot I went today. Really. Yeah, I mean, I only went two places. <laughs> yeah, I went to the bank and the gym, but yeah. I was talking about this with someone the other day. The, the difference between, like, we are worldwide. Anybody who's on YouTube is worldwide automatically. Like, anyone mm-hmm. in the world can watch. Everybody knows that. But, yeah, when we get on the local news, the amount, the attention is so different and local. It's just, like, the weirdest thing. Like, everybody's like, oh, the scholarship. Saw you guys on the news. Everybody. And, like, you just don't see that when we're... Uh, building a Hummer pontoon. Really? We were on the news? I didn't even know we were on the news. Yeah, a couple, yeah, couple Yeah, I think Valley News Live did and, a little thing, a little article. Huh, some nighttime news shows. Yeah. We've got... It is kind of... It's weird. We haven't had much publicity since... Or local publicity. We've never since, really had good publicity. It is nice to have good publicity, for once, for sure. But since the Fargo Inc. Uh, right. Oh, that's true. I shouldn't say thing. all yeah. that was bad. But yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I was thinking about it this week. I was like, damn, yeah, the, that Fargo Inc. magazine, that was kind of cool. So I, I went back... And I read it and, you know, just kind of saw how things had changed. I remember it was crazy. We had like 600,000, 700,000. It seemed really? like we had a really we low. We have month. a million? No, I don't think so. We had or no, we're, had a we're just about, when they wrote the article, oh, we, we like hadn't hit a million. Mm-hmm. And then we really had a good, a good fall. And then when it finally came out, we were over a million. And so I was reading through and, uh, it cracked me up. Ken in that talked about his, uh, we had like bucket list items. Anyway, most of us had like completed. Our bucket list really? items, or we're at least on the right track. But Obviously, Ken's. Ken hasn't. And so I was thinking about how Ken hasn't made it to Antarctica, and <laughs> and I was also thinking about how we're doing this cash giveaway promo and how hard he's been working. And Ken, I wanted, I wanted to surprise you with something—a little vacation from all of us boys. <laughs> I'd like to surprise you with a trip to Antarctica this week. Really? Yeah, really? we're all Did, tripping in. Is the surprise happening this week or is the trip happening this week? No, the trip's happening this week. Let me pull up your itinerary here. You're going to have a blast, buddy. Dude, it sucks you can't go because he the he still got a lot of orders to send out, Ryan. There's a, there's a lot of merch to, to move around. <laughs> no, you can no, deal you, with that when you get yeah, back. True. Yeah, there'll be well, Wi-Fi on the flight and stuff like that. All right, here's your itinerary. You leave uh, Wednesday. Everything's already figured out for you. <laughs> You did have to fly United. The Delta flight layovers were ridiculous. <laughs> and How, dude, and this will be I a mean, blast, buddy. You're you get put into me this. in economy on an international flight. <laughs> well, I figured you could deal with the update or the upgrades. I'm He's sorry. Just pissed about that. He has True. to ride economy. That's where I ride, Ken. Every time. Yeah, I was like, that's literally <laughs> how we there. fly every single time. But we're gonna send you with a GoPro. Yep. Yep. So or you, we could uh, send Dalton with. Yeah. yeah, true. Dalton could go. I could book another flight. So <laughs> anyway, Dalton. this Wednesday at 3 o'clock, you fly out of Minneapolis, and you land uh, Thursday in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I land on Thursday, and I leave Wednesday. <laughs> well, you leave Wednesday afternoon. You you land Thursday morning. But yeah, it's part of it. <laughs> oh, that's not it terrible. for 24 hours. <laughs> and you can book the flight from Fargo, but I figure with your Tesla, it probably needs to be down there for service anyway. <laughs> So there's a couple things I still have to. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I I can see it. I'm in I'm in Argentina for 24 hours. Yeah, you that's gotta kind of, complete okay, the that's thing. Kind of You'll be back before the weekend. If I was in a random <laughs> uh, okay, safe sick. country in um, South America for a day, I'd be pretty stoked. Yeah, you're going to beautiful Buenos Aires, right? I think that's how you say it. <laughs> 
Something like that. So here's a here's a picture of the airport. Wait, why are you saying I'm to Argentina when you wanted to go to Antarctica? That's well, the you connecting. can't fly oh, really? right to... It's like having to fly to LA before Hawaii. <laughs> exactly. So you can't fly right there. So you got to fly from Buenos Aires down to Rio Gallegos. It's like a three and a half hour flight. Um, I was doing some research. I found you like a nice prop plane. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. This is my, in my research. Uh, oh, my God. Here, here's your uh, prop plane. <laughs> It'll be taken down to Rio. You got to do it. Dude. Is that the same plane model that crashed? No, no that was a that's big a one. bigger plane. Yeah. Here's a little info on what's going on in Rio currently. Okay. Locked down activities suspended. <laughs> Why they locked down, huh? I don't know, but that's fine because you don't have to be there very long. Uh, it is a quick trip. So you hop back on the small plane again and you'll fly down to Antarctica where you'll see some penguins. Do it. Get one picture with a penguin. Or, yeah, wait. Back. So, so Ryan, what, what you didn't realize is... It's winter down there, and people only like t- do tourist stuff in our winter, so in the summer. Oh, that's why it was so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> that actually makes sense. You still yes, can't go down, down there in the winter? What's wrong with that? No, you can, but it's just like... But it's always winter It's like there. going to a, like go to Alaska in the winter. Nobody goes to Alaska in the winter. Uh, it is like you already noticed, a pretty quick trip, because you have to get back for the weekend. We have filming and stuff like that. I don't want to miss have you miss a weekend up it's here. True. It's just a quick flight down to Antarctica. You're there for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Enough Dude, to read you. Know, legendary. Do it. That's do where it, I was Ken. curious. We never did get to quite hear uh, what yeah, you wanted what you to do wanted down to do. there. Or was it just like, I've been to Antarctica? I Penguins think it was. And- I had seen like some uh, YouTube travel things, or whatever, where they take like a cruise ship and mm-hmm. then you like do oh, all yeah. that stuff. And we had just taken the... The cruise with Brian the, yeah. the previous winter. Yeah. And I was Gotta like, oh, that'd be it. kind of fun. And then COVID. Yeah. I thought about doing that, but it was like a, a nine day minimum. And can't I was like, to lose you yeah, for that you long. can't be gone. It's like it's long. a full vacation for people, not just a yeah. quick photo op. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. But you still get, this is just an expedited version. You can do it later. We have the next merch shop coming up with a really big giveaway in just a few weeks. So you have to be back, obviously. Uh, hop back on the small plane. And then you obviously are going to have to spend a little bit of time. I'm not a monster. So I did book you accommodations in uh, Rio. Very an apartment nice. For two. Doesn't, doesn't look bad. Yeah. Apartment for yeah, two, actually. Oh, maybe we will send Dalton with. You could explore the stunning beauty of Rio uh, while you're down there for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, you should be home by Saturday morning. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I, I, I don't like the fact that it's 14 hours in economy and my legs <laughs> Do not fit. <laughs> well, but, I, I, you can upgrade this. On I'll send you the confirmation numbers. On international on flights, doesn't for like those long, let's say six plus eight plus hour flights, aren't economy like still? They're still not the size of like a flight to Florida. They're the same seats, just <laughs> on a different plane. Wow, that's horrible. Well, then what are the planes with the beds on them? Well, then that's first class. They just so the back is still economy. They ride ten hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't even want to know seat. what those first class tickets are. Flying to Florida, you know, you're looking at let's say six, five, six hundred bucks, and then the first class is like twenty three hundred. Yeah, to me, it's like I'd rather just tough it out for a few then, hours than and, and have and an have extra two 15. grand to blow. Yeah, yeah, almost. That's me. I've never once paid for first class. It, it's worth it when the upgrade is only like a hundred bucks. But then if you taint yourself, next thing you know, you're spending thousands. I mean, I just figured this is a quick little trip. Uh, for Kenny, well, so and it's it's just nice good and, of you uh, to figure that he'd upgrade himself. Well, you yeah. do it, Ken. How much did you spend on these tickets? It was short notice bookings. I think it was like twenty five hundred bucks, it's and that's bad, with bad. that was with the connecting flights. It'll be too. a great segment. You yeah, got to do it, Ken. I I do have to say I have no idea where my passport. Ken's like I haven't seen my. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I can't passport. go because your passport. I, well, I'd have to. Ex- I'd have to like literally same day. He's passport. capping. He's capping. He no, I exactly I haven't seen my passport at. since I went on the cruise with Mike. Are you just scared to go ago. to Argentina? A little bit. That's that's not exactly the the safest country around. We we all are just like oh let's go to the Bahamas this weekend. Ken all of a sudden has his passport. Oh yeah, I oh, found it. I'm ready to go. Can you imagine? We we're like, well, Ken's gone. We might as well go somewhere too, and then. It's somewhere super nice. That'd actually be a really funny video. So you'll be down there with Dalton. For you, it'll be a fun time because that's like what your dream <laughs> is. But anyone else will be having a terrible time. And then we'll be in this like beautiful tropical place, like you'll having be a good time. Or- yeah. And you'll be yeah. like hiking, like riding economy, just all crammed in like some <laughs> prop plane, like boom, 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 bouncing around. That'd be a hilarious bit. We're like, I wonder what Ken's doing right now. And then it cuts to you. just like hiking up some mountain. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Sounds like my idea of 72 hours in hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I wanted to get you a little break. I know, you know, we did this little cash giveaway thing. You've been working so hard. 
we have a big giveaway coming up. So this is a nice little break for you right in between. <laughs> Also, our biggest giveaway yet. It is kind of crazy, though. So we did this cash giveaway, and you guys loved it way yeah. more than we expected. And uh, we've taken all the money from all the local banks around here. We had to like, have cash shipped in. It was <laughs> interesting. We're putting it, I, I wasn't putting expecting... It Every order gets uh, yeah. some kind of denomination of cash. So right. either $5 to 500 So, you know, some people are getting 100 some 50 some 20 we Some fit, are getting 200 You know, it's just completely random. We but. fit every bank in probably a 50-mile a radius. Dude. And they, they don't let us get any more. They were a little short with me. Really? When I was getting some cash from uh, this one bank today. Well, Ken goes, yeah, they're only letting us take 1000 out a person now. And I was like, what? And then I go there. Lady would only let me do 1000 but she wouldn't let me do uh, any, like, small bills. So I was like, just like, couldn't do the five. So it was just hundreds. And I was just like, what the fuck, lady? Like, and then she was like, yeah, manager saying that, you know, you guys are taking like too much cash out. I had to buy some cash from a couple of local restaurants too. Really? Yeah. Dude, yeah, I, Justin called I the just casino. Started asking the homies. That's smart. Yeah, I say we go there and we just double it. Put it all on red. Come out with double, and then come home. Not promo. a matter of money. It's a matter of the cash. We Can we get cash. our winnings we need in the fives? Hard, hard cash, man. It is kind of funny. Like you walk into the bank now, and and I saw it too today. Like they groan. They know you're about to come in with some odd request. I know they don't like it. It's they weird because like it. you think you you have the money, you would be able to get it. And like I understand, they need to keep fives for other businesses and tens and twenties and whatever. But still, I would thought you'd be able to get your own <clears> cash. Yeah, it is weird that you know you think the bank would have the cash, they don't. Yeah, mm -hmm. like if you want to withdraw all your money into cash, you couldn't even do it. I mean, depending how much money yeah, you have. Probably but not. Like, yeah. I just ran into this, so I I guess we can tell the podcast people first. I bought a car. Yep. I'm jealous. C8 Z06. Really jealous. Yeah. So Badass. I'm I'm very excited. Can I see it. Like what it. what's it even look like? I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. Let's pull it up. Lucky motherfucker. Nobody buys more cars than Ryan. <laughs> buy like this dude has gone through so many fucking cars. Like me sitting next to him. No, yeah, he, but he has gone he through so, so many, many no, cars. How many cars? Like you haven't gone through nearly. His That's are always I can't like get brand new and sick. Yeah, I've only I've I've never gotten rid of a car. Really? You own every car? Uh, so my very first car was a '96 Jeep Grand Cherokee that uh was my parents, but it was given to me, and then I drove it and it got handed down to my younger brother he crashed it or he got rear-ended totaled it didn't so you it, crash that, it too yeah i crashed it too <laughs> but but he got rear-ended and it actually totaled it out and then the only other vehicle i've ever gotten rid of was my wrx blue butt wrx that i hit two deer with going like 80 mile an hour and yeah. totaled out so i had to in order to get the insurance but otherwise every single vehicle I have had, and I keep it. <laughs> you either keep it forever, you total it out, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's one way or the other. I, I should break that, start selling some shit. <laughs> break yeah, that we trend. Just, I just picked up my car from the storage unit, which is also funny. We have a storage unit that's usually packed full. There's nothing in it oh, yeah, yet it's besides either. one Evo and some things on the shelf. Yeah, but nice. we, were, we were eyeing up the I'm Evo. I'm going to move some more cars in there, hold on to for forever. <laughs> yeah. Nobody has done more than Ryan. Like, how many brand new vehicles have you had since we had this channel? I shouldn't even say brand new, new, but like during the course of this channel, you've had your Scion, you had that white F-150, you had the Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, SRT8, and then you had your TRX, Camaro, Camaro. TRX again, <laughs> uh, Hummer, Hummer, Corvette now. That's yeah. eight vehicles. That's very crazy. expensive. Trading vehicles is very expensive. Yeah, and you got to pay tax on them when you buy them, so like... Yeah. Yeah, real I mean, dumb. well, if that's they're hundred thousand dollar vehicles. You got ten grand Ryan, in tax, I, or tax right there. I know that you're you're a pretty big advocate on not actually doing the math. Don't do the math, <laughs> then we'll know. But I just want to know, like, are you getting just shafted on some of these like new vehicle registration tax title license prices? Because that's yes. what deters yeah. me. Yes. Even like the yeah the Bronco right now, it's like the most expensive car I've ever bought. Like, and I don't want to get rid of it yet because I feel like I'm just gonna get shafted on tax title license. I don't know. Um, well, you if you trade it in, then you yeah, can avoid you say, the yeah, tax. Yeah. But then the problem is you normally get dicked on the yeah. trade, trade in. in. You want to talk just... about getting dicked on trade in? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, we, yeah, do, we do. We do actually talk have to... about it. Oh, yeah, last week. Yeah, well, Ken, no, but Ken on the video, but not on the podcast. Or was it eighty grand? No, no, you lost one hundred and ten. No, no, he talked about when it was at sixty. Then they came back. He's like, they came back and gave me another offer. They gave me another offer for thirty thousand one hundred dollars. So one hundred and forty thousand. So Ken. I mean, people saw it in the background. You got your Cybertruck. I did. But you went to trade in your 
Tesla Plaid, $140,000 Tesla Plaid. It's super fast. The fastest car in the fleet. It's very nice. Got 11,000 miles on it? Uh, 17,000 miles 17,000 miles on it. Beat. Nothing. Beat. He went to trade it in on the Cybertruck. They offered him 30000 He bought it for 142 years ago. Yeah, two That's years ago. That's insane. $110,000 gone, dude. I, That's well, nuts, man. I, I, I <laughs> so legitimately bad. couldn't... I could not make the math work where it made no. sense to trade it wow. in, dude, so it just didn't. I'll buy the car from you for thirty two. Uh, and I'm gonna no, give but, it to yeah, Alex. but you That'll always I'm in for, for thirty three. You keep saying, oh, dude, I'm in for sixty, bro. <laughs> it's a hell of a we car. Need a bit, like, bidding more up. Selling like retail for eighty. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, God, well, that's their thing. That. They were trying to take their your money from you. You there guys, was, the, we had two awesome cars coming to the fleet in the last week. Which your car's not here. I'm looking on the screen. This is sick, Ryan. When it comes to your health, there should be no compromise, and that is why you should be using ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. I was just at the doctor, and it's like 20 minutes of waiting after you check in. Then you get the questions from the nurse. Then you go see the doctor, and then you got to go wait at the pharmacy. It takes hours, and that's why ZocDoc is the future and why if I need to go to the doctor again, I will be using ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And that is actually why I love ZocDoc. It's all online and it's easy to find the right doctor in your insurance network for your specific issue. Go to ZocDoc.com slash wide open and download the ZocDoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash wide open. ZocDoc.com slash wide open. Shopify is the best way to sell online, period. Our website, cboycd.com, was created with Shopify. We absolutely love it. We hope that you guys, who are our visitors, do too. Each week, Shopify supports this podcast and our business by giving us a quality platform to sell our merchandise on, and we really, really appreciate them. If you're looking to start your business, especially an online one, they will support you guys too. Take it from me, Shopify is the best option to start and run your online business. They have everything that you could possibly need from a killer mobile app, endless amounts of applications to help you market and sell better, AI integrations that can fill out frequently asked questions, and much more. And once you start selling, Shopify makes getting paid simple by instantly accepting every type of payment. And the best part is Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. We love using Shopify and you will too. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify dot com slash wide open yeah i'm Orange. i'm really really excited i'm really that i don't know badass. why um i loved loved love ben c8 i i like c8s I a lot and oh so uh, is it white or is it not white interior white interior, white interior yeah, oh it just was a different nice glass roof but uh um, is that loaded then that's everything yeah dude i'm wow. just like not i don't know what it is but. i love love the lambo love the gtr to me those are just like those cars will always be cool. Like, you know, I could buy a GTR in like 10 years and it'll still be You could be buy cool. like a fucking but 1990 that, GTR and it'd be cool. Yeah, but mm-hmm. that car right now, in my opinion, is just like the coolest. I don't know why. It's just, it's, it's hot. It's, it's brand so new, hot. Yeah, you yeah. know? And so I am, yeah, it's awesome. I'm excited you to get a ride in that one. bad boy, dude. So am I, because I bought it actually two weeks ago. I sent all the money out. It, which actually goes back to the bank thing. I didn't realize this. Like I had checks that were pending. I had to pull money out of a high yield savings account because I'm financially responsible. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Obviously not. I don't not. know if that is. Obviously not. <laughs> it's the opposite. But, but like you Says can't get your money. <laughs> that you, orange you, Corvette. <laughs> you can't get your money. Like if you if you walked in the bank and tried to just be like, I need to take my money out. They'd be like, you can't do that. Like, they wouldn't let me send a wire for this. They were like, oh, you can send a max of, like, $10,000 mm-hmm. per day. I was like, wait, how how am I? They are like, we don't have that type of money. Yeah. It's crazy. No, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, I mean, I have some that's in, like, different investments that the problem is if, if I need to yeah, access it, I don't can't. know if it might take a month even. Yeah. Just, crazy. just depending on what, what kind of investment it is. So, like, I've been just kind of holding on to a lot because I'm trying to find a, a house when it pops up. Mm-hmm. And I just need to be able to act quick. 
But oh, uh, yeah, those that don't know, CJ's homeless right now. So no, but I mean <laughs> like a, a different, you know, a house of my own because yeah. right now we all, us three own a house together. Um, and Ken and I live there. But yeah, that's badass, Ryan. So is that gonna mm-hmm. be faster than Ben's Lamborghini? Uh-huh. I think so. Really? Zero that's rear wheel drive. I'm assuming that's badass. How is a rear wheel drive car gonna be faster than? But I mean, obviously, than an all wheel drive be. car. But I'm you know, no I just find it hard to believe. Normally, it's it's very tough unless you got a lot of horsepower. But still, it's just hooking up. And you know, I always look at these like uh, zero to sixties. I search shit, stuff like this all the time, and they're all different. Yeah, they're always because different. they they track it themselves. So like, if you find Motor Trend, they yeah, do a zero do, to sixty, yeah. and they're like, we got two point five seconds. Then you look at wh- whoever else, and they're like two point nine. I'm like, that's a pretty big difference. Here's one of the things it said: two point five. Two point five for Ben's Lamborghini. That car is fast. Not as fast as my GTR. They're yeah, saying zero to sixty in two point six. That is insane. Ooh, so wow! So so you're right gorgeous. up there, barely. But who knows? You could still probably beat them. I mean, without Ben it races, just comes dude. Into, yeah, it just comes into who can shift better. I mean, as long as you can find the floor, that's yeah. really all you got. Just make awesome. sure you hit the right pedal. I think that's what I love most about the Z06 is that it's that high revving, the new V8. Can you like still not really mod the the C8 regular C8s? No, you know? can you can mod them, you but can. you can't do the Z06s. They're like they're no. Not well, I guess yeah, I figured that too. But I just still like a C7 or any other LS motor. Like before that, you can do whatever you want. You mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. everything under the sun. But then the C8s, it seems like. They could like completely lock down the ECU. Yeah, and yeah, everything. and it's mostly that. But you could like, still man. do. Lingenfelter does superchargers. Oh, okay. They have turbo kits. Okay. Yep. Isn't it like some weird like piggyback off a sensor to kind of make everything work right? Probably Is it still like that. Yeah. That's I guess what I was wondering. If it's still like that piggyback, and if it works, it works. So there's two things I find interesting about this this new car purchase, Ryan. Okay. There's two like different viewpoint oh i have three. First off i'm just happy for you because i think it's it's super cool like i'm jealous that's a sick car thank you i just think it is absolutely hilarious <laughs> that you haven't you bought a black trx put all <laughs> did all this work to it traded it on this camaro uh two also years ago orange. and and you were like oh it was such a mistake like what am i gonna do that fall you buy another trx again so for even more money so you lost money on the first one you buy another one brand new you do all this tax and whatever yep. do all the same mods to it pre- pretty much pretty much and then you do it again <laughs> You do it again. You traded your TRX for this, which it, I just you, think oh, is you crazy. Traded it. Yeah. Well, well it yeah, went to that dealership. To save tax and yeah, stuff. Yeah. What'd sense. they give you on trade-in for a TRX? Uh, 90. 90? What'd you not buy bad. it for? Uh, 101. 101? That's, that's not bad. I mean, grand. I put a lot into it. it but and the car market's gone down a lot in that time. Really bad. Man. But yeah, so, pretty tough. So are you going to get another TRX now this fall? Or? <laughs> no, I've, my goal is to just be content. I'm just surprised not, you'd get rid of it, though. Wasn't that a great truck? Yeah, it, it was. I loved it. Well, but, what was the issue? But it was, I didn't, I didn't need it. I didn't need it. I love my Hummer, my electric Hummer. So now I have the vet and the Hummer. I'm not selling the Hummer because if I got rid of all that and then I only had the vet, then I'd be in a sticky situation. Right. I'd end up with the old Hummer. Damn, <laughs> I've owned a lot of Hummers. Oh, yeah, I forgot you had that Hummer. So you Hummer technically too. had nine vehicles if we're counting yeah. everything. But uh, what are you going to do about this gravel road situation? Because because I'm sure a lot of listeners are country boys as well that yeah. live on a gravel road. So Ryan lives on like two miles of gravel. It, it tore up the paint on your, your Ram. Yeah. Now that that but sails all the, the way the, through, I think we could say that. Well, <laughs> hey, but then the second Ram, you te- the first one, no PPF, was bad. Toasted. The second one, PPF, and it was, it was fine. fine. The, yeah. the PPF is toasted, yeah, but yeah. really. Yeah. So what if you PPF this Corvette? Okay, so I think that's my plan. And you're going to drive it on the gravel. Let's say Alondra and I go out on a date night and we go to Fargo. If if I have to, if we have to drive here, get my car, then yeah. drive to Fargo, Not then drive car. here, and then go back to the house, she's going to be like, let's just take my car. And then that will be dumb. So on situations like that, I will drive it down the gravel road home. But like, I'm not going to take it home every day when I'm only driving right. four miles and two of its gravel. So if if I'm coming from a place, I think I'll just PPF the whole thing and do it. I have mm-hmm. a theory though with gravel. So when I was just daily driving my Evo, mm-hmm. when I'd go to your house, I'd just drive faster. Because it seemed oh, yeah. like it kicked up less rocks. And then you don't get as dusty because you leave it behind you. Yeah, I, I, I do that so in my car too. faster... I mean, it might work out. I would just PPF that thing and rally it. Cut to me, dude. Just drive be 75 so down the road. That would be badass. Dude, so honestly. many cars I would agree with that exact. PPF it and rally it. Not that one. I don't know. But oh, man, I'd love to see it. I That'd be so I badass. I agree with your theory. Dude, I 
I grew up on a gravel road, and when you're driving a car that you don't care about how dirty, sandy, or whatever it gets, and you don't care about the paint, driving on gravel is borderline more fun. But yeah, the interesting thing is when you drive slow on gravel uh, with like the TRX or the Raptors, you get the rocks, they get stuck in your wheel, in your tires Mm -hmm. easier. And then when you get out onto the uh, car, you fling them and that's where your chips are coming from. Yeah. So again, I think if you are going faster, but not so fast, like ripping that you're spraying it up on yourself. I just hate gravel. I mean, the truck tires has like big knobs. That grabs more rocks. It does. Exactly. Corvette doesn't have that. They're a little That's flat. true. That's true. But you I mean, just run Hoosiers. Got well, drags, so like, those so, are yeah. sticky enough that you'd still grab them. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited, but I, I actually sent all of the money to purchase that car like wow. two weeks ago. We're going on two weeks on Monday. I've had all that money out and the shipper just like has dropped the ball on me. So it's stuck in Texas. I was thinking about having Uncle Rich drive it back and I Man. might do it for the plot. Just have That'd him lit, have hop him in up. that Dude, thing. He's, he's coming lit. here to... Bu- he's on like a plane right now. Yeah, you know, we he, send him back he, when he lands. He, hey, yeah, you know what? Go back and pick this car up and drive it with... His, his plane takes off in two hours if you do want to have him do it. Yeah, no, I've been talking with him. Like, he's... It, it He'd probably literally be down. is on the way to the airport. And he's like, I don't know. He he was stoked. He's like, dude, I'll do it. I'll <laughs> be sick. Rich would be so uncomfortable in that thing for two. That's what hours. I was thinking. He might he might hate it a lot more <laughs> he than he would thinks. smoke so many cigs in that. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> it comes back. It's all beat up. It smells New like car cigarettes. Smell cigarettes. He's got some nice burns in the carpet. <laughs> yeah, there's some ashtray burns in the in the white center console. Oh, that's so God. funny. Yeah, that's that, gonna be sick though. That dozer that we got, Rich is coming up uh, tonight, and fresh dozer. Brand new dozer. Couldn't believe it. It's a I, crazy I think they send thing. that to us because they know it's going to be on video. And like, we have a good yeah, relationship that's, that's, with that company. Yeah. So they're like, let's send a fresh dozer. And yeah. I'm always like, no. Not a scratch on the blade. It's so satisfying because those it. things last for so long. You know, years and years yeah. and thousands of hours. So seeing it brand new is interesting. Is. And uh, yeah, Rich is like, can't wait to smoke so many cigs inside <laughs> that thing. However... It doesn't actually smell because the the windows and the doors are always open. Yeah, like it just goes outside. But like, man, he smokes like a chimney. So Rich is on his way up to build a uh, a new track for us, or also known as a curvy driveway. <laughs> so, That's the cool like that. part. A lot of people yep. see the dozer like, asking questions. Yo, guys, got a new track? Rich is coming. New track? Yep. And I'm like, yeah, but this track's it's gonna yeah, be a different. track we've never built before. Yeah. So uh, it's going at the farm. And, uh, I mean, as you guys can kind of imagine what kind of track it is, it's going to involve asphalt. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be legit having, like, I mean, we're just adding more and more tracks and, like, scenes, basically. Scenes Things to, to like, I mean, after this, there's maybe just, like, two more types of tracks we could build. And then we're kind of got all of it covered. Yeah. What like, else would you build? What's the other two? Well, drag a, strip. A proper drag strip. Proper yep. drag strip. Probably a oval track. You're right. Yep. Like a like a circle track. And then we'd probably need like an enduro track. So that'd be like three. And then can we build one of those uh like those jet boats? You seen the jet boat oh, race tracks? Oh my where they God. Have we like start the carving <laughs> out and we cut into the earth and <laughs> fill it with so water. Cool. That would be sick. But yeah, I mean, uh don't get just tied up on like drift track. It's like gonna Every be driver. so much more than that. Like it is obviously drifting but then like anything we take the shifter carts out we you know modify a shifter cart and put a toilet on it not like anything yeah like, and, and just cars like place. your corvette you could take it out and yeah, rip like it anything. like you don't even you know, like i'm sure you'll be sliding it but also like you could probably just literally rip around on it yeah you know like fun. it's a pretty big we were mapping it out and it's gonna be a big big curvy driveway that's for sure Dude. but we're just trying to make like more areas that we can use that are away from everybody yep. else that we have control over yeah so, not so. cheap not cheap no, the, dude. Uh, no, as, like if in a perfect world, we would be concreting it, of course. But yeah, we're, we're trying to take all the precautions, the laying down the gravel, laying down fabric, lay, uh, packing it down, uh, getting good asphalt. Just the asphalt alone is going to be one hundred and forty thousand. That's roughly is that, what the well, guy said. And that's just so that's for the not, track. That's just the, the asphalt, the, not the not driveways. like the grading, not like the the everything like the like sub the gravel layer. and all and prep work. rich prepping it and all this, you know. So like probably have. Close to 200 into it by the time well, we're we, done. So we're not doing the driveways in this state. Not yet. We'll I see. Love it. We're like, nope. The curvy driveway we'll that isn't used as a yeah, driveway. Totally I mean, it's a driveway. Totally valid. But totally yeah. valid. I yeah. just figure it's like so many people talking about asphalt. It's like, yeah, once you get them out there, you know, the more you do, it does. it's just getting all that equipment and... I mean, yeah, yeah maybe we'll end up doing it. We'll but see. I think we have enough where it's probably still worth it for them to come out. Yeah, but it's yeah, for that's sure. True. Yeah. yeah. 
Gonna be legit though. That's for sure. That's exciting. Dude, I'm excited. I'm I'm gonna probably go from not sucking to <laughs> being halfway decent. I know. Well, that was one thing when we were out walking it. Like we're trying to estimate. Like of course we're figuring it out as we go. Yeah. And we're like, okay, let's put a turn here and this and that. And some of the people were like going kind of narrow with it. And I was like, no, like make this thing wide because in we one learn. In, in one week. <laughs> Mike and Jake are going to be tandem drifting next to each other. And like, you don't want it to be too narrow where they can't do that. And we're like, oh shit, we spent all this money. And it's kind of like, it's almost a full drift track, but it's still fun though. But like, I just don't want it to be like a, it's still cool though. I want it to just be like, it's fucking sick. It's like a legit professional drift track. I think I'd rather like mess up the turns a little bit. Like, oh, this turn could have been a little tighter or this one should have swept out more. I would rather have that be the issue than have the track too narrow. Hundred like, percent. We don't want it to feel like if it's a golf too narrow. You're just like stupid. I can't even drift this because it's too narrow. Mm-hmm. Did we bring up Ken Cybertruck? Well, pre- I just, very we, briefly. You guys may think that looking sharp means wearing uncomfortable clothes, but Mack Weldon makes timeless apparel with modern performance fabric for guys who want to look and feel sharp without sacrificing comfort. I have the Ace sweatpants, and they are literally my favorite pair of sweatpants. I love them mostly because although they feel super comfortable, when you're wearing them out and about, you don't look like you just left the house for the first time all day. I also ordered a bushel of new underwear, which you guys just have to try out and experience for yourself. Seriously, they're the best. Mack Weldon clothes are designed to fit your style and the demands of your life. They look like regular clothes, but they feel super comfy without looking like you just came from the gym. They're the go-to choice for guys who want to look great without even trying. Mack Weldon also offers their Silver Crew Neck T-shirt, which is an ultra soft antimicrobial tee for when you need to stay fresh longer. Get timeless looks with modern comfort from Mack Weldon. Go to Mack MacWeldon.com. Get 20% off your first order with promo code wide open. That's M A C K W E L D O N.com. Promo code wide open. I want to hear your genuine thoughts on it and then like us share ours because it blew me away. Picked it up this week. I think it is my most favorite car that I've bought. I'd agree. It's it's not my most favorite car. It's not as fast as my plaid was, but it obviously it's just it gets so much attention and it rides and drives. Like nothing else I've ever bought. Dude, honestly, there's not like with your Model Y. There was so much like jokes we could make. <laughs> the jelly bean with your with your X, obviously a hundred times better, but still kind of like it's easy it to kind of put a little a joke bean. joke yep. at. You know, it's kind of a. But this thing is honestly, it's so you, but it is so fucking cool. Yeah, it's it actually so cool. Is. And the performance, unbelievable. Ken was ripping this fucking thing. <laughs> It, and it was looked, just eating it all oh, up. And and it was like the perfect time of night too. Sun's going down. And it down. looked like a video game. Oh, like yes. I was like, what is this even like just like the it looked like the saturation was just t- cranked up. And this thing did not look real, but it shreds and it drifts on a rally track so well. It even jumps well. It handled it better than my Bronco did. Because even the Bronco, like <laughs> yeah, it dude, makes noises like that don't fall apart. sound good. And that thing the just a little air suspension relief. And yeah. That, that was it. I really hope, I think it will just show on video really well where it like, you know, nothing against your Hummer rhyme, but like it was, <laughs> it was really cool to watch in person, but on video it didn't, it didn't it really lame. translate because you had no engine noise, but the way Ken was hanging it out and yeah. drifting and then throwing so much dirt and dust and, and everything. dust and everything. And so it's just cool. sick that you like, I'm not going to say you can't roll it, but man, to the, is the it center did, of it gravity. It did on three wheels. It did yeah, kinda. but I remember when we were doing it, everyone's like, oh, are we going to roll? Because you were full crank. Full <laughs> <of speed. laughs> so like in a normal vehicle, and dude, in anything, in TRX or Raptor or whatever, you would roll, would especially roll. in that catchy grass. But anyway, we like three wheeled it a few times. I'm like, we're not even close to rolling yeah. because they have such a low center yeah. of gravity. But like, yeah, 7,500 pounds on the air suspension, just soaking it up. It was yeah. crazy. It's amazing though. That thing, like, obviously you have a lot of trust in it, but just the Slow out, off. the outside, you know, being what is it made of aluminum? It's, it's the entire outside is stainless steel. Okay, yeah. Like so like, I loved how you got out there and didn't give a shit. You were <laughs> ripping, rocks were hitting it. You didn't care one bit, and then you go and look at it. You can't tell anything. Because it's just stainless steel. People will like put scratches in them. I think it's you just take like a, a Scotch Brite pad and just scuff it right Love back it. out. Really? really? Yeah. You should have Alex wash your your car now because she's always cleaning the house and wiping down the fridge and You're stuff. You're supposed to clean it with barkeeper's friend. Steel. Yeah, like stainless steel cleaner yeah. and stuff like She'll that. She'll have that thing looking like a 
brand new fridge, dude. Just add it to like the the cleaning routine, like when you clean the kitchen and you do yeah. the you have the fridge Goes stuff out. out, the out. Then just go out into the car. garage and clean my car. No, it's 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 really cool. And uh there's something about it when I see the front end coming towards us, I think it kind of looks like you can. Yeah, it, like, fits, it looks dude. like your face kind of. The jokes are never <laughs> ending, though. Like, I didn't even think this one was that funny. And Dalton takes a picture of the dumpster and goes, kind of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, body line wise. Yeah, I get it. My favorite part about all of it is that we have a lot of funny contraptions that we pull up to Zorba's in or do whatever. A lot of funny contraptions that we bring out to the few people of Cormorant. That one has people tripping harder than anything. Nobody you know? knows what it is. Yeah, they, they can't not look at it, whether they know what it is, whether they know a ton about it, not know anything. Like, they're just like, Whoa. Driving around in that thing, I get so many weird looks from people. You know what's interesting, Ken? You don't seem like the type of guy to like all the attention that it's a kinda, car would bring. It's kind of weird. Like, the people at the bank this morning, they were like, just Geeky. the one dude was like, just... Taking pictures of my car the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think likes the most attention for driving vehicles? Evan, well, out of the boys. Evan, dude, look at his car. Dude, but <laughs> I'll be real here. He's like, we're always like, you're the guy. You look, look at your car. You drive an El Camino that's donked out. He's like, let me be clear. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I didn't pick that car. I didn't customize it. I didn't pick the color. I didn't pick the wheels. I didn't pick the color of the wheels. So there is that, but he, you're right, with the donk, still probably does love it. When we were dressed up with the pimp costumes at the snowmobile race driving it, he was like... Yeah, I mean, Evan loves attention, that's for sure. But when it comes to they get the vehicle and they're, like, hoping for everyone to, like, notice them driving around, he's not here right now. But, (laughs) I mean, it's kind of obviously Ben. He's got a Lamborghini and then a Raptor with red wheels. Yeah. It's true. I mean... I think he does take I, the cake. I'd on say that. I'd say I was maybe second, but also like I'm not. A, I don't know how much of a debate I make. Like all of my vehicles that I've driven are not flashy. They're not really flashy, and most people don't even know what they are. Mm-hmm. Like I, like I, if I run into like an old man that actually notices the car, and they're like, "What kind of car is that? This thing is that fast?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty fast." And they're like, "What? Who makes that?" I'm like, uh, "Nissan." And they're just like, "Oh, I, I think <laughs> walk <the> away." <laughs> I think the flashiest thing about your GTR is probably the exhaust with how loud yeah, it is. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it's really not a flashy car, and my Ford Raptor is far from flashy. Far. But I do agree. Ken, Post you, Malone you, does you, the same one. You seem like a person that wouldn't like it, but, dude, Ken, yellow Bronco, orange Bronco, Cybertruck. That's true. Teslas, That's uh, true. Ken bright does, blue like, hatchback. I, you that. always got crazy colors. Yeah, I, I, I bright red buy, WRX. I always buy the cars in the like the, the press colors, like yeah. whatever whatever fo- like color the car is where they take Why? all the marketing material. Because it looks the best. And mm. it's like, dude, it, yeah, it's so much easier to sell a bright colored car as long as it's not trash Is it? yeah well i actually read i didn't know if i agreed with this that there was an article that motor trend did or someone that said yellow cars are the easiest to sell and i was like no, i find that not. so hard to believe there's no, something about not. yellow cars that as i get older i just it, it'd be it's harder and harder for me to want to buy one right because it seems almost girly like it's even like, like a yellow lamborghini i'm yeah, kind of just like could ah. you pick between a yellow huracan or a white or a black you what say, do you, you pick say yellow it? car and, and i automatically yellow. go to a yellow volkswagen beetle i don't know that's who, the only like, car i can think of in own a that's yellow definitely car. girly yeah i mean there's no volkswagen beetle that's not girly what did but theo von said did that someone have goes, a yellow car i mean my last bronco was <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i was thinking my about subaru's that. been gone so long <laughs> that we oh, forgot it's yellow no. but that that car looks fucking okay, cool okay i have a genuine question so the I car that, it man. got a fresh paint job when i bought it it's it's always been yellow so that that means something it's a little rare and it is getting a full repaint again I'm doing all kinds of stuff to it the car is getting a full repaint and he's like what color do you want to do it and i'm oh, like no yellow he's like are you sure dude we can do any any color under the sun i've never had the opportunity to like have a car you're getting repainted so i'm like any color what are you gonna do i don't i you're not doing yellow aren't you no i think well i'll just i'll just i'll be honest i think i it needs to be yellow yeah but i thought about doing like like a pearl yellow like Hmm. Nice. Yeah. A little more I metallic than I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what you guys' opinions are. If it was white or blue or black or whatever, yeah, I would just completely screw that. I don't need it, that same stock color, but yellow Subaru. It, like, it's, it's, it's such like a, a rare color for that car, too, because they, they didn't import many into the States. Right. And then now it's like a, you know, it's not like collector, a true STI, but though. yeah, I, I don't know what to just do. Just in general. And the engine bay will stay yellow. I'd probably so just stay that. with the color that it is personally, but it would be cool for the video if you... You know, showed up do with that. a crazy color. Yeah. 
It's going to be cool. funny because, like, I did so much stuff to it, but I'm, like, still going to pull up and be like, it's going to look relatively. <laughs> it's, still a, it's still an 03 WRX, you know? It's cool, though. Yeah, it's cool. You guys have any bad habits you picked up lately? Yeah, eating too much. Maybe actually not even, like, a bad, <laughs> bad habit, but, like, something that's a bad habit that actually isn't bad. Like, I've started topping off my gas tank for some reason. Really? That seems random. Yeah, it's like a random bad. <laughs> yeah. It's like a bad thing to do. That's it's a, a great example. But like, why would like you're pulling over and it just seems like a waste of time? No, uh, like when I'm at the gas pump and it stops, and then I just like oh, keep filling oh. up, and then it like do goes again. Why? Oh, I love doing that. I think I started I on the last that. road trip yeah. when we were getting freaking four miles to the gallon. I was like, yeah. this half gallon could be the difference between us getting That's stuck true. somewhere. Yeah. So like, if it when it stops, if you let it chill for. A minute, two minutes, whatever, and then the bubbles go down. Yeah, you can fit back. quite a bit more in there, well, especially gotta, with diesel. You gotta like pull the pull the filler yeah, pull, out just yeah. a little bit. You can yeah. fit quite a bit more in there. Yeah, but like, I, I thought you meant like that. you're at like seven eighths of a tank, and you're like, ah, I don't have I'll anything better in. to do. No, <laughs> swing in and get no. some gas. Dude, my buddy, that's yeah, a bad that's habit. That's saying. not actually bad. My buddy in college used to do that, and like, granted, it was college. Like we didn't have much money, but like, he would go, and his car was always on E. But it was like a thing that he would go to the gas station every day and put 10 bucks in. And Why? he made plenty of money to just fill up the tank <laughs> in his car. But he would always just put like 10 bucks in, 20 bucks in, never would <laughs> fill it up. We'd be like, dude, you're wasting so much time. He's like, I don't know, I'm going to get to go to the gas station. Why? <laughs> I suppose I've done that before only because I wanted a car wash and I wanted to get the car wash a little cheaper if you buy gas. Um. So you put in like a couple of gallons of gas and you get like three bucks mm. off the car wash. That's one thing I've always wished on someone. Like, if I wish someone very well, <laughs> I very well to me means I wish that when you go to the gas pump, you fill it full. You fill. You never have any reason not to fill it all the way up, no matter what price that yeah. gas is. Yeah, that, that to me is like you're you're doing well. That's like true. It, it's always it, it genuinely is. It's tough going to the gas station putting on fifteen bucks. Um, you know, because that's all you got. You know, when I was in high school and working, like, that's how it was. Like, you never, I, I didn't know. ever fill my gas tank all the way full. It was just, like, whatever I had on me, whatever I made in tips from delivering pizzas. Like, that's what I was putting on gas. Because you were a cash guy, so you had, yeah, you, yeah, you exactly. had your, like, 25 bucks. Yeah. And, or you'd save, yeah, because you are kind of like, oh, so, we're, yeah, we're going out to eat tonight with the bo the so, boys, so I, I need to save, like, this so maybe, 30 bucks maybe, for... Maybe I want to park my car and we could ride together or something. Like, yeah, I forget yeah, about that. Remember like that? that? Like, yeah. just ride sharing and shit? Yeah, just because you didn't want to use your, you know... And, like, me and my friends, sometimes it would be like, I drove last time, yeah. so, yeah. like, I'm not driving this time because you were like, I'm, do you know how much gas I'm wasting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember last time I thought about wasting gas. Which is I mean, a, it's a beautiful thing. We're constantly running shit around here, which but it yeah. is, it is. Yeah. You but look like, at the boat. Yeah. Cripes. The boat burns, like... Fucking six gallons an hour. That's another, that's a math thing that I don't like doing. Like, oh, yeah, I'm the boat, thing where it's gas. I mean, and you were the first one. We went out on your boat all the time and didn't help out much. And you're like, yeah, dude, it's when you say, oh, yeah, it's not free to run the boat. That's a horrible statement because it's the <laughs> opposite from free, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like astronomical. I don't know but, if I ever yeah. said this, but like when you bought a boat, CJ, I was. So excited because there's a saying, you know, you're the best day of boat ownerships when you buy it, when you sell it. And then you're all like, <laughs> I know we have talked about this a little bit when you're like, we need a boat, we need a boat. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I'm not trying to pay one third between yeah, all of us. In. I just like, I'm not into it. I, I think we'll be chill. I got a jet ski, whatever. And then you just go out and buy a boat. And I was like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't and have then, to. <laughs> yeah. Like I didn't have to. She probably should have helped you at least detail it. I remember, like, I chipped in for gas a few times, and Did that's you? it. Oh, thank you. That's it. Like, you know, like literally two times over the whole summer, and then and you're you're having to deal with cleaning it and gassing it up. Yeah, boats aren't lift, cheap, man. That's and for sure. Selling it was a nightmare too. Yeah, you lost, sold that to your lost a lot of money your, on it. I sold it to my dad. Well, and I still and lost why, a lot you, of money on it because you gave him the homie hookup. Well, you almost got you almost got scammed <sighs> trying to sell that. I don't thing too. know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. Right. I, I probably could have got more for it, but he liked it. So I gave him a good deal. Yeah, that's yeah. nice of you. <laughs> I wonder, yeah. like, if FOMO is more of a new thing. Because you go back way before oh, social media. Or has it gotten 100%. worse? Yeah. FOMO was really never a thing because you never saw what anyone yeah. else was doing. Yeah, you just, so you don't know if they're having a good time or a bad time. So you're just yeah. kind of living in the present with whatever you're doing. Yeah. Not constantly well, seeing what everyone else is doing. FOMO wasn't, it wasn't happening currently. It would only happen if... I caught like back story. up with you guys on Monday. Later, oh, man, Friday was just insane. Yeah, then you yeah, got but FOMO, it's already but done. Right. It's already not, done. Yeah. So you're not having any. Like, yeah, you're, you're not like, like sitting there like, oh shit, I should be here right now because you're just you're not getting those live Snapchats of yeah. oh these people yeah. are doing this at this place. And yeah. the other thing too 
like even going back to last night, it was a pretty chill night in the boat. We cruised around, we jumped in the water, it was cold, like it pretty nice. But, if, more but if you looked at Alex's story, there's like three stories. Us jumping in the water, going like, ah, hooting and hollering, Dal- Dalton dancing to loud yeah, music. Yeah, you think it was just a and fucking always, wild like, time. That looked crazy, it was a, such a crazy Friday night. We're like, no, it was, it was actually fairly chill. So you're, yeah. you're seeing the highlight yeah. of everybody. That's with everything, though. I mean, no one's going to show you the boring shit, Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's, exactly. That's not fun to watch. I yeah. think that's why stories used to be so good and i'm talking not snapchat instagram stories i'm talking real stories because then you'd almost verify it dude hearing yeah well (laughs) yeah you can exaggerate as much as you want man ben would love living in the 80s (laughs) but uh you can come to your buddies at work on monday and tell them a story and they're actually interested they're not like oh dude i saw that that looks so fun they're like what happened next what happened next that's what i mean dude evan loves just getting just getting in a just yeah, I don't even know. Getting, <laughs> getting wild something and then making a story and then yeah. tell, telling it to I everyone. Agree. He's a great storyteller. Just most of them we can't tell you guys. Yeah, like <laughs> I always, I do always enjoy when he comes uh, yeah. back back out here on Monday mm-hmm. and, you know, he comes rolling in all hungover. <laughs> and then we go, well, what happened this weekend? And then he's got this, you know, 20 minute story yeah, of got, like this whole thing. And it's always entertaining. I know, like, dude. God damn, we should have a camera down there, man. <laughs> that I think that is a good point. Circling back to what you said, FOMO, when you're seeing stories is not, no, it bad. shouldn't be as real as maybe it feels for you. Same for, um, I was talking to this guy at a grad party and he's like, Oh yeah, I, I see your Snapchat. Sometimes you guys are just always having fun, always having fun. We, we've said this before. no, we're not. I think it's cool that people think that, but I mean, of course, we're not gonna post the boring shit. I'm not gonna post mm-hmm. like snaps while I'm like in my office yeah. like, every day, you know, <laughs> here and there. But then as soon you as you like, be able I, to make that look fun, I might sure. run downstairs because Evan started up the the trials bike, grab a clip of him, run back up to my office. Mm-hmm. Then it looks like I'm playing all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even football or, or like golf, yeah, they get paid a lot of money. But like the stress, I, everything, like there's no one gets paid to play all day. Did you guys see that Scotty Scheffler, the number yes. one golfer in the world, yeah, that's got crazy. arrested? Yeah. So what was before the deal with that? a tournament, dude? That's He's crazy. going to the tournament. I look gets arrested. There, so there was like a car accident and like a he some, didn't know that some kind of police officer was trying to direct traffic and he was trying to get into the golf club and they were letting other golfers go by. They were supposed just to. the golfers. So then he basically you know drives past and this cop like. I think it's, it's always had like 30 yards or something. And this cop like grabs onto his car, tries to get in and then like arrest him essentially. Yeah. There's, I <laughs> so don't the know. cop was over the top. Cop and now he's getting in trouble. Top. Yeah. That's yeah. bullshit, dude. Because he didn't he's know out. who he was. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a bunch of different stories, of course. I'm sure it'll, it'll come out as it goes. But like there are stories that the cop, it, it, it was in the verbiage that the cop attached himself to the vehicle. Yeah. So like he grabbed onto the car Dude. and it's dark and raining. So he like kept driving, probably not knowing that the cop was attached to his car. So then he got like fleeing. Slash oh like, my God. Yeah, he's trying to like some assault like of a police bullshit. Shit. Yeah, it is funny. They've been interviewing him. They're like, when did you know that you were going to make your tea time? And he's like, when they came out. And let me out of jail. He's like, you're sitting there. It's not like I have my phone. Yeah. They're like, someone telling me what's going on. I'm sitting in a jail cell. And then someone like came in. They're like, all right, you're good to go. So is he still jammed up? Or is like, like does he have to deal with legal consequences? I, I think he was out the same day. Because that was but like. But is it dropped? Yeah. No, is I'm, it dropped? I'm sure he's probably. He's still wow. charged wow. as of right Dude, now. With I, the I agree he probably is. But like, he's, <laughs> he's chilling. Like, he's going to be chilling. He's yes, not playing I'd very well, dude. Oh, man. He's, in, he's tied for 20. Eighth. Oh man. Well, sure 20 million mental. bucks, dude. So 20 million studio. bucks. Hmm. Well, he can blame it on the cop then. One can time, you imagine, dude? Put him in the wrong mindset. <laughs> yeah. One time, <laughs> just got to find the first person to blame. Um, one time <laughs> uh, when I was like first driving and I had my license at like 14 and a half. Because um, back then you could get your license really young. Anyways, I'm driving down this road and there's like this big stop, you know, whatever. And there's police officers, this guy out guiding traffic. And I didn't quite understand where he was directing me. So I just turned, uh, which apparently was the wrong way. And he was like, ah! starts pounding on my like, ah, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, oh, Lord, You're like, I don't I'm know just where like to go. this like young kid. <laughs> And I just, that, that made me think of it though, but yeah, dude just started going ballistic, like hitting the freaking jeep, and I was like, "Bro, what are you doing?" But then I was all scared. 
That is I had to do like a three point turn to get out of there. Oh man. Well, dude, some cops or uh, people of authority will wonder how people can be so stupid, but sometimes people are so intimidated or whatever, but let's just use the word intimidated by cops that they're or not just thinking straight. You start yeah, not or thinking by, straight. Yeah. Cause now you got this dude like breathing down your neck, like, you're yeah. trying to pay attention think, to them, yeah. so you're not paying attention to other things. You're trying to not to do things. something yeah. wrong, and then... Dude, and even... I mean, I surprise myself with my own stupidity daily, honestly. <laughs> like, sometimes I'll just go like, damn, I can't believe I'm that dumb. I did did normally a, a generally small mistake, but it happens. Who do you think's worst worst driver? 15-year-old kid who just got his license, or a 75, 80-year-old man? 80. 75, 80. Like, like, who's more of a danger out on the road? An old person? It depends. It depends. Because some of these kids are driving really recklessly. Like, yeah. if some you're driving are. really recklessly and fast, you're actually more of a hazard, I'd say. 100%. But I if, think across like, the board. I'm sure, obviously, like, the 75-year-old could get in many more accidents, but they're going so goddamn slow. It's like, <laughs> it's just a bing, a little fender bender. Whereas, like, you got a kid, kid. speeding around. Ripping. <sighs> I had a couple close calls when I was young. Like, 17, 18, like, you know, you're driving fast and, like, phew, you get just lucky. Yeah, the thing so that I would describe like as I luck. I got lucky <laughs> multiple yeah, I love times. That. I remember driving my TC in a snowstorm down the Downer Road, which is, like, a, a country highway, and it was full-blown snowstorm, multiple inches of snow on the road, and I was late for basketball practice. So I was driving, like, 90, because, yeah. heaven forbid, I'm late for yeah. crushers. Yeah. And I was thinking about it, I go, if I did that right now in my truck... I, there's yeah. no way I'd make it. And I was like, the only thing that got me through that was my mother's worrying about me and some luck, dude. Like, yeah. there's no way I could do it again. I just remember, like, doing, like, really tight, like, I'd be, like, trying to beat, like, a, like maybe the right lane ends, and then, like, I'd end up, like, literally cutting over within inches of cars. Like, it like, yeah. could have been so bad. I did that a couple times. How stupid was I? And then just, like, driving too fast at night, like, just... Yeah, can't see shit, and which ended up not working out very well for me. Ended up piling up that WRX, <laughs> bunch um, of deer. Yeah, so stupid. So I don't know. Depends if you have a dumbass kid <laughs> that wants to roll the dice, which I think there's a lot of them, and I yeah. do not recommend doing. It. It's not worth it. Yeah, as a man who's rolled the dice, it's not worth yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you sometimes win and other times you lose. Getting older and smarter. Is an is a good thing generally. I think I'm probably I'm for I sure agree. safer than I was, and I make better decisions. But also sometimes I look back at like even Alex sent a picture of me at your 24th birthday yeah. or a video. I'm standing on the desk hooting and hollering. Yep. I go, man, that looks fun. I yeah. look yeah. fun then. I, w yeah. I wish I could do that again. But if I did that tonight, you guys would be like, dude, what's wrong? I'd with like you? to see that. I'd like to. I see maybe that. could. I maybe could do it. You know who still lives life that way? Our buddy Evan. Evan and Jake, dude, they're just maniacs dude, well, to the they, core. They, I think they're the epitome of yeah. never growing up. I just love uh, on uh, Thursday night, Evan is super hungover on th all day Thursday because he was drinking Wednesday night. I don't know if I'm saying too much, but anyways, he was having a good time. He was just hanging with the boys. And then he, you know, Thursday rolls around, video drops. I see him. I'm, he's like, yeah, I've been feeling like shit all, all day. day. I'm not drinking tonight, all this. You guys are like, all right, let's go to Zorba. He's like, yeah, I'm coming, but I'm not drinking. Four hours later, I get a picture sent to me. Evan's standing on the sign. <laughs> the sign's like 12, 14 feet up from he the ground. It. And he's standing on a little two by four up there, flicking off the camera. I'm like, oh, not drinking, huh? <laughs> but like, it always happens too, because we're smart or just lame however you want to look we're at lame. it we're in bed yeah, we're in bed I'm sleeping at, oh. i wake up to it at 7 a.m because i can't fucking sleep anymore through the night <laughs> yeah. and i wake up and i go damn looks like evan had a crazy night to be fair though evan's older than all of us so that's true yeah. it's just it's just yeah, your was, own you, your own doing right you don't got to be lame you just choose to be that is i think that's the <laughs> hardest thing to yeah, hear that's and true. that's <laughs> That's, that's not true. just directed at you. It's not. It's not. Like, it's not. You, it could be you, me too as well. Alex, Very well me. Alex, your girlfriend had the snap of our filmer Dalton who is, he's dancing on the boat and you said, oh, to be young and full of energy. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, Sober, yeah, dude. yeah. He's just there and then a good I was time. like, wait a second. You got to meet my friend, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, he's older true. than all of Jeff us. Jeff keeps dancing <laughs> And he time. dances just like that. And then I thought about Jeff and I was like, yep. You just got to be, if you want to be it, you got to be a Jeff. Also, he comes naturally. He's a good dancer, and he is full of energy, weirdly, and full of confidence. But you can dance on tables at 30. It's just maybe more frowned upon. You can do whatever you want. 
that's the, <laughs> that's the crazy part. But yeah, it hurts more to hear like you can do whatever you want. You're just lame now. I know it does. It, like like I could very well go do that, but I I don't know why I don't. Cause I'm lame. I'm just <sighs> fucking lame now. I don't want to be hung over on <laughs> the next Thursday day. morning. And that's a big one. Not being hung over is a powerful uh, thing. You need that sometimes. Some days. You know what? Frick it. Let's turn the page tonight. Let's get wild. <laughs> I knew we we're gonna go get wild. I knew All he was right, Ryan. Say we'll that. get a picture of you Ryan, standing on top yes. of the shirt. Sign. Yes. Yep. Dude, don't we, grow up. It's a trap. I don't know what you're, dude. If we got a picture of you on the Zorba sign tonight, that would cherry. It would be the top of this. God, I can't imagine Ryan tonight. up so high. I don't think I. <laughs> it would be <laughs> unsafe. Not like it would a be cat. unsafe. Keep in mind, <laughs> no. there's no ladder. Evan climbed that shit I don't like know a monkey. How do you get up there? Like a monkey. He literally like. On the beam, he's like, I can get up there, and like, no help, no nothing, just climbed That's up there. Amazing. Did he just jump down, or what did he do? The power uh, of Red Bull. Yeah, and he vodka. swung his way down into the swamp, dude. Also, there was like thirty thousand bugs flying around the lights that were illuminating the. Yeah, he threw up. He said <laughs> after. Yeah, they like flew into his mouth, his eyes, his sweatshirt, everything. I, I think when I drove home that night, they looked like clouds. Yeah. All right, fellas, thanks for wild. watching and listening. Peace out. We'll see you next Have a great week. week.